Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Yasha Gupta. I'm a board certified radiologist and today I will be answering one of the most frequently asked questions that I get on my channel, which is how do you become a radiologist? What's a radiologist? What do you do? What, is, what does your day look like? So I'll be answering all of that in today's video. And if you like this type of video, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps. And yeah, let's get into it. So let's just start by talking about what is a radiologist. Well, a radiologist is a doctor who specializes in reading imaging. So we read every, pretty much every imaging that comes into the hospital. So if you have a cough and you get an x-ray, you get an x-ray of your chest, right? A chest x-ray. We will read that and we will write a report about what's going on within your chest. If you fell and you're not, your arm hurts or your wrist hurts and you get an x-ray, we read that and we tell the doctor exactly what's going on with your arm. And I know it seems like, oh, well, I just broke my arm, but there's always like so much to describe within even just a simple x-ray like that. We have to describe where the fracture lies, like in what plane, have the bones moved too much, have they extended into the joint spaces of your wrist, you know, things like that, because that's what tells your doctor whether or not you can just go home with a cast, whether you need surgery, whether you're gonna need screws in your wrist, things like that. I mean, that is how all of the management gets decided based on what's really going on. Same with appendicitis. Some people get to go home with antibiotics and some people have to have surgery, right? So what we see on the imaging is really how severe is the appendicitis? Is there some sort of sequela from the appendicitis, like an abscess or is there a perforation in your intestines? Like, you know, has some part of it burst? I mean, these are all things that help guide management and we as radiologists make those diagnoses. So I think it's a very interesting field. You see all sorts of pathology every single day, things that are life-threatening, like a clot in your lungs, for example, we diagnose those all the time. So it, it it's really an interesting specialty because you get to see literally normal patients and these, I mean, zebra cases where you just don't know what's even going on all in one day. And I think that people don't really realize how interesting of a specialty it can be. You may not know, but radiology often gets a reputation of being boring. So I will describe it to you like this. Radiology is the equivalent of watching somebody else read a book. So you're just like watching them like, how is that interesting? Like, how is this interesting? I'm just watching you read a book. But the person who's reading the book is actually seeing, like they're seeing everything that's going on. They're seeing the imagery, right? In their mind of the book. They are actually like experiencing it and finding it very interesting while you're just watching them read a book. And you're like, they're just flipping pages. Like that can't be interesting at all. So reading a book versus watching someone read a book that's what radiology is like. You're just reading tons and tons and tons of books with different, different things going on. And a lot of people really care about your opinion because you change management every single day. If someone gets to go home from the hospital, whether they have to stay in the hospital, whether they get surgery, a lot of that comes down to what you see on the images. So I think radiology is an extremely interesting field and very important um, for patient care. How do you become a radiologist? Well, radiologists are doctors. We are medical doctors. So we are people that have to go to medical school. So in order to go to medical school, you obviously have to have an undergraduate degree. Once you finish your undergraduate degree, whether it's in three years or four years or five years, you get to take the MCAT, yay, and then go to medical school. Medical school is four years long. During that time, you obviously do your preclinical years, which is years one and two, and then you do your clinical rotations. You rotate through everything because all of that is obviously fundamental to your knowledge base. And then you can do some specific rotations in radiology. And all of that is in those four years of medical school. So four years of undergrad, four years of medical school, and then you get to do an amazing intern year where you spend one year working as a doctor. So now you've graduated medical school, you're working as a doctor and you do your intern year. You can do that in surgery, you can do that in internal medicine, you can do that as a transitional year where you get to do you know a little bit of everything, but regardless, you have to spend one year doing clinical work. So we are the interns rounding on the patients at 6 a.m. or even earlier sometimes. It's very important for your knowledge base to understand why patients are getting imaging and how your reports are going to affect patient outcomes. So it's good in that way. Then you spend four years doing residency. So let's recap. Four years of undergrad, four years of medical school, one intern year, four years of residency. So we are now at five years of postgraduate training. <laughs> and yes, all four years are spent doing radiology. We don't have ICU rotations. We don't have internal medicine rotations. We don't have other rotations. You're just doing four years of radiology. And that's because within radiology, 
There are so many subspecialties. So yeah, when you come, when it comes to radiology, like we have to know everything about everything. We have to know every pathology, every diagnosis, everything that can go that can happen. And a lot of times our patients are actually like coming after having surgery. So we have to know a lot of surgery. We have to know a lot of the treatment things that are happening. A lot of um, patients that come in after having immunotherapy, for example, have so many side effects from immunotherapy. So we have to know what are those side effects of immunotherapy. There's so much to know in radiology you don't even realize until you start doing it. So that's why it's really four years long. And within radiology, we have so many subspecialties. So breast imaging, that's what I do. There is cardiothoracic, there's nuclear medicine, there's pediatric radiology that focuses on the imaging of children. There is, I mean, what else? Body imaging or abdominal imaging, which you know focuses on the liver, the spleen, the intestines, the gut, things like that. There's a whole list. And I have an entire video actually about all the subspecialties of radiology if you're interested in that. And yes, it really does take four years to learn it all. And guess what? We're not done yet because most radiologists go on to do a fellowship in one of those subspecialties. So as I mentioned, I did breast imaging, which had a touch of oncologic imaging in there, cancer imaging. But you can do a fellowship in any of those things. And I will refer you to that video if you are interested in hearing about what all the different subspecialties are. But yes, radiology is huge. So if you're wondering if your radiologist is a doctor, yes, we are not only just doctors, but we have six years on average of postgraduate training. And that's as long as it takes to become a surgeon. That's as long as it takes to become a cardiologist. That's as long as it takes to become a pediatric specialist as well. Like there are so many things that take six years, but radiology is one of them. So yes, it takes us six years after medical school to become a radiologist, but I think it's very rewarding. And if you're interested in radiology, just know that yes, there is a lot of training and time that goes into it, but it's, you know, it's a great field. I especially love it, obviously, because that's what I chose to do. And, but yeah, that's how you become a radiologist. It's definitely not an easy path. I'm not going to say that it was easy, but compared to other residencies, I think radiology is very nice. It's very rewarding. You get to help a lot of people. I mean, we read like 50 to 100 scans, maybe even more every single day. That's 50 to 100 people that you are helping every single day. And I don't think that a lot of specialties can say that they help as many people as radiologists do. And finally, everyone says that AI is going to take over radiology. In fact, I think that was like one of my very first videos was about AI and radiology. And I will say that this many years later, here I am still working away and the volume is just ever increasing and the work is never ending. The list never, never ends. And so for those that are saying that AI will take my job, I would say, please allow it to help me with my job. I would love some help. I would love getting the reassurance of AI when I say something is normal. But until then, we are here, real humans, real doctors on the other side, reading your imaging and hoping that we can help you the best that we can. So I hope that that was helpful. I would love to answer any questions that you have in the comments below. And yeah, follow me at MD like everywhere. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. I'm going on like so many tangents today.